today we're going to be talking a little bit about coffee and my new favorite way of making camp coffee. But since we're in Oregon, uh, I probably can't talk about coffee without putting on the proper uniform, so... Alright, and uh, now we can talk a little bit about the Stanley Boil & Brew French Press. So I was super excited when I found this thing. For a while there I was using instant coffee, that was terrible. Like, it kind of smells like meat. And then for a while I was using a percolator, and I wasn't too happy with that because uh, it uses quite a bit of fuel. Um, you got it because you got to boil the water for it to work. And uh, I like saving the fuel, and I don't necessarily feel like I, I don't like boiling the water. Um, I've heard from some coffee snobs that uh, boiling the water changes the coffee flavor. I don't care that much, but um, mostly for me, it's just the longer waiting time. And then it's like too hot to drink anyway, so you gotta wait again for it to cool down. And uh, yeah, so I found the Stanley Boil and Brew and I was pretty excited because uh, it's not just a French press. A lot of the French presses, even the camp French presses, um, are like a standalone unit and then you need another pot to uh, boil your water in and then pour it into the French press. This is kind of an all-in-one deal. Even though I have the camper van now and I'm less constrained for space, um, I still don't, I don't like collecting a bunch of stuff. So having this thing be all-in-one, I can boil water with it if I want to, or use it as coffee as a coffee maker like it's intended to. And then the other thing that was awesome was the price. Is This thing's like $25 on Amazon or REI or anywhere. I ordered it on Amazon. And uh, it makes plenty of coffee for me in the morning. Um, actually probably more than enough for me. This thing might be a little bit heavy for like backpackers. Um, it's not terribly heavy, but I know how you backpackers really like the ultralight stuff. Um, this might not be that, but for car camping, you know, Uber landing, um, anything like that, just normal camping, um, I think it's fantastic. So let's take a closer look at this thing and make some coffee because it's kind of cold out. So another feature I liked, as well as it being multi-purpose, was that these little handles fold in. It's kind of annoying sometimes when you have a, a cylindrical thing like a percolator and then this handle that sticks out kind of just, it takes up real estate in whatever bin or tote or shelf or drawer that you're storing it in. This thing just makes it nice and um, easier to store. So it's got these fold out handles. They actually do do a decent job at um, keeping heat out of the handles. You'd think they'd be like super hot. I think maybe the size of your burner might give you different results, but for me, this has been good and I'm good to grab it like that. So this plastic cylinder here is the actual French press portion of it. You'll notice it has a screen on the bottom and that's uh, what filters through the coffee. Then you got a little lid here. So you've got this rubber o-ring here and that's what creates the pressure as you're doing the uh, pressing portion of the French press. And uh, yeah, BPA free and uh, it's got a little spout here for pouring. I'll talk a little bit more about that. This is not perfect. So here you have your stainless steel cylinder. This is 32 ounces, uh, Stanley logo here, folding arms here, and then you have a fill line here for the water. One thing I do recommend is to not actually fill the water to the fill line, but just below it.
Now I like to leave it on the heat for a little bit um, and then turn it off and just let it sit for four minutes or so, maybe five minutes. And after it's steeped and sat for a while, then we can get to pressing. And that's get to pressing, not get depressing. So if you mess the coffee up. So this part you gotta be a little bit careful with and this is why I don't actually fill it all the way to the full line because every time I've done that, this happens. So now we take our filtered press portion and just kinda set it down there and kinda let it do its thing and then give it a press. And that's it. Now one problem I've had occasionally is that the coffee will kind of spill out from underneath the spout between the press and the metal pot. Let's see if it does it this time. Well, no, nope, now it's gonna pour nice and fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. So, not always the cleanest pour. Oh, there it is. Nice warm coffee, and it's much better than that instant stuff. So even with those few little quirks with using the Stanley Boil and Brew, uh, I love the fact that it combines just a normal pot that you can boil water in and a coffee maker, so I don't have to have two things. I love that I don't have to boil the water and use so much fuel just to make some coffee, and I'm pretty pleased with it for $25. So if you want to check it out for yourself, I believe you can find it in uh, several different camp stores or on Amazon. I'll put a link down below in the pinned comment or something. And if you have a favorite French press or other camp coffee making device, uh, leave a comment down below. I'd be interested to see what you guys prefer. For now, I'm going to finish this cup and I will see you guys on the next video. If you'd like to follow along with the rest of our adventures, make sure to subscribe. And to make sure you don't miss out on any other videos, click the notification bell as well.